Hello wonderful people, so as you can see today is going to be a serious video. In this video we're going to talk about how to date a Rwandese woman. Africa. Africa. Welcome back my wonderful peoples. So pay attention on the first link in the description of this video. I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video. I'm a fan of Rwandese women and I'm not posting this video as the expert on dating Rwandese women but I have some experience of dating a Rwandese woman or two and there's not a lot of information on the internet about this topic so that's why I felt compelled to make this video and share with you guys so in this video we're going to talk about four aspects when it comes to dating a Rwandese woman the first is the knowledge things you need to know before you start approaching or dating a Rwandese woman the first date the dating game and the sex game all right, are you ready? Let's get started. There are about eight things you need to know before you start dating a Rwandese woman. I've already talked about the seven other things in detail in this previous video that I made, but in short, they are the Rwandese shyness and passive attitude, the traditional mindset, the no displaying of public affection, there's no word for boyfriend or girlfriend in the Kinyarwanda language, there are many unwritten but specifically defined gender roles. If you marry her, you marry her parents. And before you even get to marry her, you must pay dowry. There's one more thing that I guess I failed to mention in that last video. And that is the preference of the Rwandese women. There are like three guys that Rwandese women fall for. The Rwandan guy, the black non-Rwandan guy, and the non-black non-Rwandan guy. If you're a Rwandan guy looking to date a Rwandese woman, know that you are the top preferred pick of dating by default yes you are privileged like that if all things between guys are the same the Rwandese girls will always pick the Rwandan guys first and second if you're a black non-Rwandese guy know that you are the second preferred pick of the Rwandese women you're probably the first pick in your culture where you come from but for the Rwandese women you're on second place and third, you're probably thinking, well, I'm not Rwandese, I'm not black, so I probably don't make a chance. No, you're not completely lost. Because if you fall into this category, you have one thing that's going for you strongly. You are underestimated by the Rwandese women. Most Rwandese women don't have experience with foreign guys, except for the ones who live abroad, of course. But they don't know that they can fall for you. They don't know if they can make love to you. They don't know that you're just like any other guy, but with a different skin. So most of the time, you don't get noticed right away. But when you do get noticed by a Rwandese woman, rest assured, she really, really likes you. Because you probably don't fit the picture that she imagined when she was a kid. Use that to your advantage. Now let's talk about the first date. Guys, if I have to sum this up, be a man. Take the lead and she will follow. The first date is very important. Rwandese women have a very traditional mindset and they are very aware of the traditional old school gender roles between men and women. When you invite a Rwandese lady for a first date, make sure to make it an official first date by calling it a official first date. Even if you have already dated her on another occasion, make sure to call it an official first date and step up your game. Attack it like a job interview. Come in your best attire, put your best foot forward, but don't overpromise anything because you will probably have to prove it later on. And make sure that your first official date is of course much much better than the last time you encountered with her. At the end of the date, make sure to be the one paying for this date. And you get extra points if you can pay without her knowing when you paid. Now let's talk about the dating game. In the next four to maximum six encounters that you're going to have with your Randy's lady, make sure you find out where she stands on this following subjects. Marriage is a big thing in the Rwandan culture, sometimes even more important than finishing your education. Now you might not be thinking about marriage at this point, but she has for at least the past 10 years of her life. And so have her aunties, her mother and her cousins. This is the perfect time to talk about marriage because we just met each other, so it is not in the picture at the moment. And you're doing two other great things by talking about marriage. First, you are taking the lead. You are being a man. And second, you are helping her deal with the pressure of the marriage questions she's going to be getting from her mother, aunties and cousins. Yeah. And also make sure to find out where your Randy's lady stands on having children. 
Almost all of these ladies want to have children. The question is just how many? Again, this is probably not the time that you want to have children, but it is a great moment to talk about it because it's not going to happen. Right? And another thing, there are some Rwandese ladies out there who don't want to have children, but they are very rare and, and almost never talk about it. If you don't want to have children yourself, you're going to be happy that you have this discussion because she's going to feel even more safe with you if she knows that you are also on the same plane as she is. Third, ask her where she stands on her future work life. Even though Rwandese ladies are still very traditional, they are becoming equally educated and making the same money and sometimes even more as men. This is creating some new dynamics in their relationships. Mostly young Rwandese ladies are afraid of dating African men or Rwandese men like me because they are afraid we won't get their ambition or that we're gonna treat them like a mukozi, a housekeeper. Don't worry ladies, we are very emancipated. We support you and we can take care of the house and the baby if you trust us with it. And lastly, know where she stands on religion. It is safe to say that all around these ladies growing up in this generation have been raised religiously in some way. Some around these ladies become more religious as they get older and stop doing stuff that they used to do, like going out or having sex before marriage. It helps early on to know how serious your around this lady is with her religion, because it's probably going to mean she's going to become more serious over the years. The last aspect of dating around this lady is the sex game. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot go into details about this topic because my girlfriend is watching this. But I can tell you one thing though. You're only ever gonna meet two types of around these ladies out there. The very religious ones, no sex before marriage, and a lady in the streets, but a freak in the shit. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, of course. And don't forget to check out my crowdfunding campaign. It is coming to an end. And if it has already ended by the time you're watching this video, click on the first link in the description to see maybe how you can support or read about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye -bye.